Hello folks and welcome to the video, I'm Paul. So in today's video, just as a bit of an intro really, I just thought I'd show you some footage of the magnificent Kinder Scout, which is somewhere I'd like to be doing some coverage of in the future. And also in the centre there, you can just about see Kinder Downfall, which is a waterfall, which on some occasions, when the wind is from the right direction, and strong enough it actually blows the waterfall upwards and then just panning across there that's wind gather rocks which is the location i covered in the previous video or one of them anyway so then just panning over to the right when the motorbike has just gone past there's pin chair as well so yeah today's video i hope everyone is uh, keeping safe and well and uh, a big thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed to the channel. Uh, it always impresses me how you can immediately contact people from all around the world with YouTube when you uh, put a video out and you get viewers from far afield as well, which is uh, really great. So for today's video, I'm going to fast forward a bit in time until nightfall or rewind either is perhaps a little bit more accurate to uh, show you some footage of a smooth newt, or I believe it's a smooth newt, that I've managed to uh, identify. Uh, it was outside in the garden about uh, one o'clock in the morning, just letting the uh, dog out, and uh, he was very nearly a flattened newt, actually, if I'd have uh, stepped on him, but fortunately I didn't. But uh, yeah, quite a marvellous uh, spotting. Uh, very rare in the UK. I think I've probably seen about four or five in my lifetime. Uh, so I hope you'll enjoy this footage of this little character. I'll um, add on some information about him as well, just as a bit of a voiceover, uh, just to give you a bit of info about newts in the UK. But I thought it was quite a marvellous uh, find that I thought I'd share with you as well. I'll speak to you in a bit. Bye for now. Okay, folks, so introducing uh, the newt, or the smooth newt, as I think it was. Uh, so the picture quality improves quite a bit, actually, as I get a bit more kind of uh, used to focusing and uh, filming it at uh, night. And actually, towards the end, you actually get some footage of it uh, hunting little insects and worms, uh, and also some good uh, footage where it actually starts to walk towards me, which was, uh, which was really good. Uh, but just to give you a bit of information about the smooth newt, um, you're likely to spot the smooth newt in your garden or local pond and it breeds in water in summer and spends the rest of the year in grassland and woodland hibernating over winter. Uh, it's uh, approximately 7 to 11 centimetres long and has an average lifespan of six years and it's actually protected in the UK under the Wildlife and Countryside Act of 1981 and you'll see it usually between March to October when it's not uh, hibernating. So newts are amphibians breeding in ponds during the spring and spending most of the rest of the year feeding on invertebrates in woodland, hedgerows, marshes and tussocky grassland. They hibernate underground among tree roots and in old walls, which uh, I think it's possibly been doing uh, around here. Uh, the smooth newt is also known as the common newt and is the species you are most likely to find in your garden pond. Uh, how to identify? Well, the smooth newt is grey-brown with an orange belly and neat black spots all over. In the breeding season, males have a smooth crest running the full length of their body and tail. And the distribution, they're found throughout the country, except for parts of Western Scotland, the west of Wales, the Isle of Man, the Channel Islands and the Isles of Scilly. Uh, habitats, grassland, heathland and moorland, freshwater, farmland, coastal, wetlands, woodland. So quite a few there then. Um, and did you know smooth newts eat insects, caterpillars, worms and slugs while on land and crustaceans, mol mollusks, mollusks and tadpoles when in the water. They are most active during the night as was the case here. So yeah, hope you uh, enjoy this footage. I've uh, I've not managed to film this before, so it was quite a good uh, chance find, and I was really trying to uh, make sure that uh, I kept a reasonable distance from it where I could. Um, at one point, it did kind of uh, stay very still. I think probably just uh, 
you know, anticipating a, a kind of a danger. Uh, but afterwards, when I kept quiet, it gradually became more confident and you actually saw it doing a bit of uh, hunting uh, insects listening out and then you'd see a little insect run across the flags or the stones and then it would be off after it. Uh, where it's going over towards here, uh, there was actually a worm. I think you can just see it to the right of screen there that had just surfaced uh, from a gap. And it looked like it was possibly hunting that because it went over to it and then had a really good look down. Uh, but whether that was a bit, uh, it bit enough, a bit more than it could chew, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it was interesting to watch it really and see, uh, see its behaviour when it's hunting uh, at night. So yeah. Actually, on uh, looking back on this footage a bit afterwards as I've been editing the footage, uh, I am wondering whether, uh, you can't quite see it, but whether it did actually uh, take that worm uh, from the gap because it seemed to be looking down there for quite a while. And then, uh, I don't know whether you can see, it looks as if it's uh, just chewing um, at the moment. So yeah, possibly that uh, worm didn't quite get a lucky escape. Uh, what was interesting was just watching this newt uh, as it kind of hunted and you see a little bit more footage of it uh, hunting insects and stuff in a bit, uh, which is a bit better footage. Um, but it really was kind of, it would stop. I've had to edit it quite a bit because it would stop, wait for quite a while, sort of stand up listening um, and maybe, maybe smelling the air, I don't know. Um, and then it would actually move forward and uh, stealthily move forward after its prey. Um, speaking of stealthily moving forward, I had to do that a little bit myself as well, uh, trying not to set the security alert light off, uh, which it would obviously uh, disturb some of the neighbours. So, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a challenge filming it. Um, but, yeah, I thought worth uh, doing it because it's very, uh, certainly in the UK anyway, it's quite rare to see these. Uh, let alone uh, get some filmed footage of them. So I thought it was worth uh, just taking the time to watch him in his uh, or her in the uh, natural uh, habitat and just uh, doing the thing. So anyway, enough from me. I'll uh, just leave you with the footage just to uh, watch a little bit more of the smooth newt. Uh, bye for now and thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now.